Hello today's video we have the following content. This scene on the Kin red carpet shows Yang Mi's embarrassing situation vividly. The Kin film festival is in full swing, and various domestic and foreign big stars have made their debuts, attracting countless eyeballs. Now the red carpet has ushered in a super heavyweight link, what exactly is it? The entire team of the play Jiang Giren Lane, that is, the crew of Jiang Giren Lane as everyone often says, has been working hard and sweating for this play. Although this film did not participate in the awards, it just showed up in Cannes, but it can be shown at such an international film festival, which is enough to show that its strength should not be underestimated. Yes, this is definitely due to our strong team and outstanding cast. The great director Chen Kexin invited the Queen Zhang Ziyi to play the heroine, and also invited Lei Jiayan to play the male lead, as a supporting role to set off. This time, the two leading actors must have followed the director's footsteps and came to Kin together. On the red carpet, in addition to the familiar Wang Chu Anjin, Yang Mi, and Dapin, there are also Li Xian and Sisha. They appeared one by one, adding more starlight and highlights to the event. On the red carpet of Kin this time, the male actors did not have too many highlights. They were all dressed conservatively and low-key. They probably knew that this kind of occasion was the home court of female stars. So, between Yang Mi and Zhang Ziyi, who stole the limelight on this red carpet, and who was a little embarrassed? Let's wait and see. 0185 who embarrassed again. Many people may be like me. When they saw Yang Mi stepping on the red carpet, they might have such questions in their hearts, why is she here to join in the fun? Although Yang Mi did star in the crew of Jiang Giren Lane, she actually played an inconspicuous supporting role. How could she steal the limelight from the big star Zhang Ziyi? Although her status and popularity in the domestic entertainment industry are super high, it is completely different when she goes abroad. Just like that time when Zhang Ziyi walked the red carpet alone, she could only watch silently from the side, without much presence. So, the status and traffic in China are really nothing when they go abroad. It seems that Yang Mi is planning to take advantage of the popularity, but she may not realize how ruthless the foreign camera is. In China, Yang Mi can use the retouched photos as raw photos as she pleases, but once she goes abroad, the camera will not buy her account. Those cameras are directly facing her face, even the pores and small flaws on her face are clearly shown. I really didn't expect that without the modification of filters, her face is so different that it makes people feel distressed. That skin is so dry that it looks like a leaf that has lost its moisture, as if all the vitality in the body has been sucked away by something, which looks really scary. Once this person gets older, the look in his eyes is obviously different from when he was young. The youthful brilliance and sharpness seem to have been worn away by the years, replaced by a more calm and deep look. Although the eyes have changed, the traces of time have also added a bit of unique charm to them. Although Yang Mi is wearing thick makeup, her eyes still look fierce, and her smile is not so natural. She always purses her lips, and her lips look a little sunken, like an old lady who has taken off her dentures. From the side, Yang Mi doesn't look like a 37-year-old, but more like a 47-year-old. How can she look so old? It seems that no matter how powerful the technology is, it can't stop the pace of time, and it's impossible to keep people young forever. Although her appearance is getting older, her inner qualities are not outstanding. In this way, her appearance is indeed slightly inferior among the post-85 female stars. Yang Mi does seem a little less confident in some big occasions and the temperament that can calm down the big scene does not seem to be obvious enough. Standing on the red carpet, she seemed a little nervous and at a loss. She didn't know where to put her hands. In the end, she just put them on both sides of her body and took the photo straight. Excuse me, is this the rhythm of our military training? To put it bluntly, Yang Mi actually lacks a little confidence. She may be a little uncertain about herself and needs more courage and confidence. The 85 flowers are really shocking. They even made a fool of themselves abroad. It's really embarrassing. To be honest, there is no need to compare with others. Yang Mi and Zhang Ziyi are not comparable at all. Zero Two International Zhang Online. As soon as Zhang Ziyi appeared, she was simply eye-catching. Her aura was just like that of an international celebrity. It was so awesome. The organizers of the Cannes Film Festival specially arranged an exclusive personal red carpet walk for her. Remember, we have to do this when the venue is clear. In this way, everything can go smoothly without any interference. She became the focus of the whole audience. The spotlight was always on her, and the shutter sounds kept coming one after another. Zhang Ziyi, just so openly, returned to her familiar stage. Looking at her, 
It was like she was taking a leisurely walk in her backyard, comfortable and calm. Although she is now 45 years old and her appearance may not be as stunning as before, the charm of middle-aged actresses is not as simple as just looking at her face. Their charm comes more from their unique temperament and the charm in their bones. As Zhang Ziyi gets older, her bone structure becomes more prominent, which makes her appearance elegant and graceful even with the passage of time. At the same time, the years have also given her a calm and noble temperament, which makes people feel her inner charm and strength. On the red carpet, she showed an unparalleled free and easy style, with a calm and unhurried pace, exuding a confident charm from the inside out. At the same time, the background music was the theme song of the movie Memoirs of a Geisha. Just when Zhang Ziyi's close-up shot appeared, the lyrics were particularly appropriate to sing. It is obvious that can treatment of international Zhang is really grand and face-saving. Maybe many people don't know much about the Cannes Film Festival, and feel that as long as the internet celebrities are willing to spend money, they can walk on the red carpet, and it feels nothing special. But the Cannes Film Festival is an international film festival, not just anyone can attend. Although internet celebrities can participate, it is because they have a certain degree of fame and influence, which cannot be achieved simply by spending money. Therefore, the Cannes Film Festival still has its style and standards. Yes, the red carpet is not a threshold for anyone, but it is really possible to be at the Cannes Film Festival. Establishing core connections and having a say are the real skills and the most difficult to do. At present, many of the core figures are old acquaintances of Zhang Ziyi. These people have been her friends for many years and have a very close relationship. With them, the scene will definitely not be deserted. Director Chen Kexin was able to bring Jiang Gir and Lane Duke in this time, and it is estimated that her support is indispensable. With her help behind the scenes, it is no wonder that it can be so smooth. This time the crew walked on the red carpet together, and everyone knew who was the real big star at a glance. Zhang Ziyi also seized this opportunity to meet with many bigwigs in the international film industry and participate in various gatherings and activities together. Just like Thierry Framox, the artistic director of the Cannes Film Festival, Koji Akosho, who won the Cannes Best Actor Award, and the Cannes Golden Globe Award for his work. Wim Wenders, the German director who won the Palme d'Or, and others are all important figures in the film industry. What is Yang Mi doing now? She is busy taking photos, and she is so conceited. It's not easy to get on the Cannes bandwagon, how can I miss this opportunity to take a few photos? After taking the photos, I have to spend time to edit them, so that I can show them off. But to be honest, isn't it embarrassing? To be honest, her role in the play Jiang Gir and Lane is really not very important, and it feels that whether she is included or not has no big impact on the whole plot. She has very few scenes, and she is not even qualified to be the second protagonist. If she is a sensible person, she should learn from Xiao Liang, know how to be Loki, and don't always get involved in such big scenes. If she goes, she will just be a background board for others. Comma and still have to be compared and laughed at by others, why bother? What's even funnier is that Yang Mi actually took a special leave to go to Cannes, and even her drama birth of all things that she was filming was temporarily shelved. This choice is simply a world of difference from Xiao Liang. In order to quickly get some attention, some people choose to show their faces at the Cannes Film Festival. In order to complete a satisfactory work, I decided to give up the opportunity to participate in the Cannes Film Festival. For me, this creation is the result of my hard work, and I don't want to be distracted by other things. Although the Cannes Film Festival is a very important platform, I think it is worth giving up this time because I value the quality and integrity of the work more. I believe that as long as I go all out to complete this work, it will definitely be recognized and loved by more people. From here, we can compare who can see the essence of things more clearly between Yang Mi and Xiao Liang. Look at the two of them, who can understand things more and who can see through people's hearts more, you can see at a glance. 03 Conclusion On the red carpet of Cannes, a day that everyone is paying attention to, Yang Mi was so embarrassed that it was really obvious. Everyone wants to be famous and want to stand on a bigger stage. This is completely human nature. However, standing high also means greater risks. If you want to reach a higher level, you must have corresponding real skills to support your ambition. Yang Mi wanted to shine on the red carpet of Cannes, but it turned out to be a bit embarrassing. This is not to blame others. The main reason is that she may not realize that if she wants to stand firm in such an occasion, she still has to rely on her strength and have works that can be shown. Maybe it's because she was praised too much by fans in the domestic entertainment industry, so now she doesn't know her own weight, and she is really a bit arrogant. 
The treatment Zhang Ziyi received this time should be enough for her to reflect and introspect. If Yang Mi can achieve the same success as Zhang Ziyi in the future, she should come to Qin to show off. Otherwise, showing off now will only make people think that she is ignorant and a bit embarrassing. Yang Mi was laughed at by everyone when she attended the event. This incident also reminded the actors in the domestic entertainment industry. Don't always think about grabbing the spotlight and attracting attention. Real actors still have to rely on their strength. If you have a masterpiece that can be remembered, opportunities will naturally come to you. So, it is better to hone your acting skills and produce more good works. So what do you think about this issue? Do you have any unique insights or feelings? Comma end, this is all the content, I hope you are satisfied. All we talked about is here. If you think there is something wrong or have anything to add, just say it. Let's figure this out together, I won't say more. Goodbye. Next news. Wow. The premiere of Jiang Gu and Lane received a lot of negative reviews, and the audience's reasons for the negative reviews were surprisingly consistent. Speaking of this year's Cannes International Film Festival, which domestic entertainment actor is the most dazzling? It's really exciting. If I have to say who I will never forget, it is definitely every member of our Jiang Gu and Lane crew. Chen Kex in, together with Zhang Ziyi, Yang Mi and other Chinese filmmakers, appeared on the red carpet and immediately became the focus of the audience, attracting countless eyes. Zhang Ziyi really shined on the red carpet, fully showing the style of an international superstar. The organizers of can even clear the venue for her. The treatment is really extraordinary. This also makes the audience understand that no matter how many twists and turns she has experienced, Zhang Ziyi has always maintained that international style. She is the unique international Zhang. The main reason is that she has always been very eye-catching in the domestic entertainment circle, but when she goes abroad, she seems a little timid, and she can't be compared with Zhang Ziyi's confident aura at all. To be honest, her appearance abroad is really a bit disappointing, and she has completely lost the style she has in China. Sometimes we have to admit that the real confidence of actors is actually their outstanding works. If the works are good, the actors will naturally stand out and have enough confidence. Of course, there are still many topics about movies and actors that are worth discussing. The crew of Jiang Gu and Lane appeared at the Cannes premiere. As soon as they accepted media interviews, they made a lot of things, and everyone started to discuss it. What happened? Zero One Zhang Ziyi rolled her eyes on the spot. This time Yang Mi understood. She knew her position, so she did not deliberately grab the spotlight during the crew activities. As the heroine of this film, Zhang Ziyi took on the responsibility of social responsibility. She was very busy and chatted with those foreign filmmakers and media one by one. Interacting non-stop. When the camera swept over, Yang Mi deliberately moved to the side, as if to hint to everyone, Look, I'm very low-key, and I don't want to grab the spotlight at all. This natural posture really makes people feel that she is so kind. Afterwards, the topic of Yang Mi gives way to the camera quickly became popular on the hot search list. Was this a coincidence or a result of careful planning? Anyway, those who know it know it in their hearts. In fact, she could have chosen to stand quietly behind like everyone else. After all, although Yang Mi has a certain degree of popularity abroad, it is really a bit uncertain to say that she would steal the limelight from a superstar like Zhang Ziyi. However, whether it is useful or not, her operation did successfully catch the audience's attention. This wishful thinking is really smart. However, Yang Mi's little action is not the only focus. Zhang Ziyi is also busy. At the press conference, she actually teased director Chen Kexin in public, saying that he actually cut out the most brilliant scene she played, which seemed a little complaining. Chen Kexin insisted that he didn't cut anything, which irritated Zhang Ziyi. She rolled her eyes and expressed her dissatisfaction without disguising it. Then, she turned around and looked for Lei Jiayin, wanting him to support her and be a witness. How could Lei Jiayin answer? He could only vaguely say, maybe some parts were cut out. This time, Chen Kexing could only patiently explain that he did not completely cut out those clips, but only made appropriate deletions, because if all were included, the length of the entire work would be too long. However, he promised that he had kept the most exciting and interesting parts. Oh, this dialogue is not long, why does it feel like the atmosphere has become so tense all of a sudden, as if there is a fight? I heard that the drama Jiang Gu and Lane has been adjusting the content during the filming process, and the changes are quite large. The cast is quite large, and everyone has their own ideas, so the screenwriter has to be busy revising the script to ensure that the plot can proceed smoothly. 
It's really not easy, making changes while filming, but this is also to present a better work to the audience. Regarding this plot, we have to think carefully about it. Is it icing on the cake or superfluous? Some people questioned, this incident has caused such a big stir. Doesn't it just show that director Chen Kexin may lack the ability and decisiveness that a real great director should have? This sentence awakened the dreamer. Chen Kexin is not the kind of great director who can make all the actors surrender as soon as he appears. He does not have the power to suppress the whole audience with his name alone. If the actors and crew members all make suggestions at the same time, and the director listens to them all, wouldn't it be a mess? This can easily lead everyone to deviate from the original creative direction. After the premiere in Cannes, many audiences who watched the movie on site expressed their opinions. To be honest, this movie has received quite a lot of negative reviews, and everyone's reasons are similar. This movie seems to be really not good. Zero to the male lead has more scenes than the female lead. Jiang Giren Lane, a movie with a strong female lead, probably attracted many audiences to watch Zhang Ziyi's wonderful performance. After all, everyone wants to see her shine on the screen and show her acting skills. From the feedback of the audience, it seems that Lei Jiayin's role is slightly too much. It is generally believed that his performance in the play is very good, but in comparison, the display space of other characters seems a little insufficient. I hope that the plot arrangement will be more balanced in the future, so that each character can have a full opportunity to show. The Zhu's he Wu he played insisted that Zhang Zhou was guilty. He was a stubborn person from beginning to end. He thought he was great at first, but later he started to get angry when he found that something was wrong. This actually reflects the thoughts of many men at that time. It was too conservative and speechless. This role is indeed very important, but I heard that he has a lot of shots in the movie, 100 minutes. In comparison, Zhang Ziyi's role is only about 80 minutes. This is indeed a bit surprising. The highlight of this movie is undoubtedly the court debate scene. The director deliberately gave this important task to Lei Jiayin to take the lead. This scene is really wonderful, and Lei Jiayin's performance is also very outstanding. It is definitely worth watching. Zhang Ziyi has also become the foil heroine this time. Can this still be regarded as a real heroine movie? There are also some negative reviews, mainly about the content. I heard that the film was edited only three days before it was submitted for review. I thought it was just a joke at first. But who would have thought that after watching the film, the audience was surprised to find that it was not a joke, and everything was real. This film feels quite rough from beginning to end. Even if the art team took great pains to restore an alley, it didn't feel that it was very colorful. Some people felt after watching it that this is more like hype, and the actual effects is a bit worse. This film does bring together many big names in the entertainment industry, but the director doesn't seem to be very good when shooting multi-person scenes. It feels like these big names are just pieced together and edited together, which looks a bit messy. The most obvious shortcoming of this film may be its core that is both like feminism and not like feminism. If you say it is feminism, it feels a bit wrong, if you say it is not, it seems to have that meaning. Anyway, this core is quite entangled. Female themes have been very popular in the film industry in the past two years, but not every director can impress the audience like Jia Ling did by losing 100 pounds with her own determination, and the box office has soared. Male directors often find it difficult to fully delve into the inner world and experiences of women when shooting female-themed films, and they always seem a little stretched. They lack the ability to truly understand women in depth, and cannot really put themselves in the shoes of women from their perspectives, let alone speak for women. The work Jiang Giren Lane seems to want to express a lot of things, but in the end it feels like nothing is said clearly. It spent a lot of time telling a woman's tragic experience, but the core meaning of what it really wants to say was not well presented. Although it is said not to just shout slogans, in fact, the content is still full of preaching, which is really a bit contradictory. The content of this film is quite far-fetched, and the time is quite long, which made many audiences at the scene fall asleep. To be honest, the appeal of this movie really needs to be improved, and it is quite uncomfortable to watch. Chen Kexin's work this time seems to be difficult to give the audience a satisfactory answer. 03 Conclusion If the movie Jiang Giren Lane can be released in China, will it be liked by everyone? As for the box office, I think netizens don't have to worry about it. The combination of killing husband and criminal investigation elements makes people can't wait to go to the theater to find out. What's more, there is also Zhang Ziyi, a big star, who personally came out. Her influence is not covered, and she will definitely attract a large number of audiences to support it. 
This lineup is simply amazing, and there are two post 85's young actresses sitting in the center. After the release, it will definitely stir up a lot of hot discussions, and the popularity will definitely soar. Isn't this what we want? However, judging whether a movie is successful, we can't just focus on the box office, word of mouth is also a very critical link. But to be honest, seeing this, I can't help but feel a little worried for Ching Kexin. At present, this movie has received quite a lot of negative reviews. The audience is not very interested in commercial films that only rely on hype to attract attention. If the filmmakers don't make some adjustments to the content later, I'm afraid the final box office and reviews will not be very good. Let's wait and see what the final result of this movie will be. Do you want to see this movie released in China? Comma end of the article, that's it, the article is over. Simply and clearly tell you that the story, topic or discussion ends here. We have gone through this journey, and now we have to draw a perfect period. I hope you like this content, see you next time. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 